The J-10 is a very interesting Chinese fighter jet. In this video, I am going to talk about the history and key development of this unique fighter. The J-10, nicknamed the Vigorous Dragon, is a multi-purpose, all-weather fourth-generation fighter domestically developed by China. The J-10 is in a similar class as the US F-16 fighter. The J-10 design aimed at high reliability, high survivability and high maneuverability. It has a large combat radius, a short takeoff and landing distance, comprehensive ground attack capability and capable of using various guided weapons. The fighter is not restricted by any Western import or export rules and has a price advantage in international markets compared to Western fighters. The J-10C upgrade variant has been delivered to the Pakistani Air Force. This marks the first true fourth-generation fighter jet exported from China to a foreign country, a new breakthrough in the China's aviation industry. The project of designing the J-10 started in February 1982. The chief designer Song Wenkong from the Chengdu Aviation Industry reviewed its initial design in the New Generation Fighter Competition Program meetings. That is the first time the Chinese military and other key stakeholders reviewed the J-10 fighter concept. In 1994, production of the J-10 prototype began. On March 23, 1998, test pilot Lake Yang successfully completed its first flight. The J-10 project was close to cancellation due to various factors, including the Chinese Air Force procurement of the Russian Su-27 fighter. But President Jiang Zemin and other leaders made a decision to keep the project going, eventually it proves the Chengdu aviation industry is no doubt the number one fighter jet organization in China, and it paves the way to design the only stealth fighter outside of the US, the J-20 Mighty Dragon. Comparing with previous fighters in China, the J-10 has adopted a large number of new designs, new technologies and new manufacturing processes, and has achieved world-class tactical and technical requirements. It presents a series of key aviation technologies, like advanced pneumatic layout, digital fly-by-wire flight control system, fully integrated avionics system and computer-aided design process. The J-10's canard layout emphasizes high altitude and high-speed performance, and mastering this layout enables the Chengdu Aviation to reach the level of becoming one of the best fighter jet design organization in the world. The J-10 uses the abdominal air intake mode, can meet the requirement in high angle of attack flight, high-speed transformation and other extreme conditions. Its flight performance is comparable to any fourth-generation fighter. The control system of the J-10 adopts the integrated pneumatic control technology developed in the 1990s to optimize the control surface of the aircraft, significantly improving the control efficiency, response speed and aerodynamic efficiency of the aircraft. The J-10 has sophisticated fire control and electronics support its expanded capabilities, and importantly it has an integrated flight and fire control system, a first in China. The Chinese WS-10 turbofan engine was chosen for the J-10, but the engine was delayed for over a decade. The J-10 fleet are initially equipped with Russian AL-31 FN turbofan. Due to the switch to Russian engine, the J-10's rear fuselage was redesigned around 1992, Russia might also got involved with some aerodynamic changes. The first engine order was signed in 1996 and deliveries began in 1997. The AL-31 FN engine is an improved version of the AL-31 F used in the Russian Su-27 flanker fighter jet. Starting from 2006, the WS-10A turbofan engines start to be installed on newer J-10 fighters. The delay proves that China did have major difficulty in terms of developing a world-class fighter jet engine. But very soon the WS-10 engine family start to become the mainstream power plant of Chinese fighters, including the J-10B, the J-10C, the J-16, and some J-20 fighters. And in 2018, a J-10B equipped with a domestically produced vector thrust engine was unveiled and performed a flight demo at the Zhuhai Air Show. The J-10 has a 23mm 23-3 twin-barreled gun and 11 external weapon pylons. It can carry air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, navigation and target indication pods, anti-ship missiles, and guided bombs. The J-10 is actually the first multi-role fighter in China. The first variant of the J-11 fighter based on Su-27 does not have the capability of using smart weapons to attack ground targets. The J-10 has a reasonably good radar with pulse Doppler technology, targeting pods, and advanced ground attack missile and guided bombs, making it very valuable to the Chinese Air Force. In late 2010s, the key variant of the family, the J-10C started to enter service. 
It is equipped with advanced avionics and multiple types of advanced airborne weapons. The key component is its new active electronic scan array radar and built-in thermal imaging and optical suite, plus a completely resigned avionics system. It also has a brand new electronic warfare suite. On April 16, 2018, the J-10C began to perform combat duty. Soon it becomes the base of design in J-16 fighter project, which is the most advanced Su-27-based fighter in the world today. The J-10C is truly catching up with the latest American fourth-generation fighters, such as the F-16 Block 50. The J-10C is visually different from the J-10, with a DSI inlet design similar to the F-35. The radar dome is in a different shape and color to suit the new radar. It has a greater detection range, capable of simultaneously tracking 12 targets and striking six of the most threatening targets. Its cockpit is equipped with more advanced domestic diffraction flat display. In addition to the more advanced PL-12 medium-range air-to-air missile, the J-10C will also be equipped with the even better PL-15 missile. The J-10C has played an important role in the Red Sword 2016 and Red Sword 2017 exercises, laying a foundation for the improvement of the Chinese Air Force's combat capability. The early J-10 variant is now starting to be transferred to training units, but most of them are still in frontline units. The J-10C, J-16 and J-20 are known as the three musketry of the Chinese Air Force fighter fleet and are the backbone of future air and sea joint operations, possibly the most important players of the coming Taiwan Strait War. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and comment. It will really help us developing this channel and bring you more videos about Chinese military news. Thank you.